Before I begin this Parse Data video, I'd like to give you some closure on the way I use the color red on the dry erase board. In this and all my other videos, normally I will either write the letters in red or underline the letters in red, <clears throat> which comprise the prefixes and suffixes, which I call poison prefixes and suffixes, which negate the now time and are no contract words in and of themselves. Basically, most of them mean no. And I also use it to point out questionable grammatical use. The first word I'm going to parse is atmosphere, which Google tells me means gaseous envelope surrounding the earth, air. So atmosphere is air. When I parse it, the first syllable, AT, means to, near, or before. So if I'm before something, it's not the thing. If it's near something, it's still not the thing. And if it's going to something, it's definitely not the thing. So it means no. Second syllable, M, means motion. And the third syllable, sphere, means cosmos space, which is the earliest etymological definition that I could find. So atmosphere really means no motion cosmos. The second word I'm going to parse is world, which Google tells me means the earth together with all of its countries, peoples, and natural resources. Not sure why they felt the need to put the S at the end of people. The root of world is W-E-R, were, which is Proto-Germanic and means man. An example of that would be werewolf, man-wolf. So world means man. If you remember that song, I think it was from the 80s, Feed the World, Feed the Man, right? And in atmosphere, no motion cosmos. This place, this place, the no motion cosmos of this place is uh, out of this man. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this or any, any other video that I do or just want to talk to me, shoot me an email, which I've included in the description below this video. I operate in the private and the confidential. Thank you for watching.